One way of assessing soil health is to examine aggregate stability, or how well a small chunk of soil maintains cohesion when immersed in water. There are two important questions in this context. First, how does this indicate soil health? And second, why is having the constituents of soil, sand, silt, and clay particles, why is their maintaining cohesion important? A healthy soil is perhaps the most diverse ecosystem on the planet with literally millions of species of bacteria, fungi, nematodes, viruses, and many other organisms interacting with plant roots and plant root exudates. A byproduct of these interactions are soil glues that fungi and bacteria secrete. These glues hold the soil together in clumps called aggregates. A healthy soil will resist falling apart into clay, silt, and sand particles when immersed in water because these glues, along with fungal mycelia and plant roots, hold the soil together. This picture shows the difference between a healthy and a poorly managed soil. David Granitstein, a sustainable ag specialist at Washington State, dug up two corn plants in fields with the same soil type, but which were managed differently. He applied water from a garden hose to both root balls. One field used a lot of chemical fertilizers and pesticides, no cover crops, a lot of heavy machinery, and a poor crop rotation. The other field was not organic, but used manures, cover crops, and tried to minimize tillage and heavy machinery use. David noted that the soil on the root ball on the left immediately washed away and nearly all the soil was gone after 30 seconds. The soil with the root ball on the right resisted washing away due to the presence of soil glues, which were present due to the farmer providing food in the form of manures and cover crops to the soil ecology. The situation shown here is similar to the corn root ball example. The soil clumps are the same soil type and were taken literally feet from each other from two adjacent orchards which are managed quite differently. The soil on the left is from an orchard where the alleys were kept clean of any vegetation through the use of herbicides so very little organic matter is returned to the soil and the soil is starved of organic matter. The soil on the right is taken from an orchard that has cover crops planted every year in the alleys and has also had animals grazing in the alleys. The soil resists disintegration when exposed to water. As you can see, even though the healthy soil on the right does disintegrate a bit, the water remains clear because the pieces that fall off are microaggregates, so most of the clay particles remain aggregated. So, back to why having stable aggregates are important. First, healthy soils, which are well aggregated, resist wind and water erosion by maintaining their structure. Heavier aggregates are more likely to stay put compared to particles of silt, sand, and clay. If the soil disintegrates, as the soil on the left is doing, the clay particles will rise to the surface and form a seal, after which very little rainfall or irrigation water will penetrate the surface. The roots, and ultimately the water table, are starved of water. In addition, the clay seal dramatically reduces air exchange into the soil, creating anaerobic conditions that favor plant disease. In summary, soils need to be managed as an ecological system, which means the microbes and other organisms require feeding and reduce disturbance. Regular additions of organic matter, keeping the ground covered with living crops and or mulches, reducing soil disturbance, either chemical pesticides and fertilizers, or physical disturbance, meaning tillage, will all support developing and maintaining healthy soils and healthy crops.